That's Spe why you gotta keep the Disney out. Speaking of Sora, it looks like we're getting our own... I don't remember what his sponsors are. TM4 on the sticks. Is he washed? Oh, he's washed as hell. Gonna opt for the tried and true Ness against Lebs Pac-Man. That's how you know he's washed because he's trying to try hard to get back in. That's true. He's not gonna play Sora and Racket. I'm just built different. What can I, I think say? We can run all of top eight on stream. Yeah. That uh, means I get to talk shit for all of your games. If you want. <laughs> nah. I enjoy commentating. I'm the. I, I'm making my transition from two two three two or the commentator. I think. Yeah, that's what I'll say. It's usually a nice way of going about it. So let me put this up here. Lamp. Okay, and... We're getting yeah, right into it. Oh, let's get rid of that here, too. And it's like right quick. There you go. <laughs> All right. We are straight into it. Pretty even so far. TM4, obviously a player with just incredible skill. But, you know, he's coming back to the game. We're, uh, I'll be interested to see how much experience he's retained. Mm -hmm. As well as say, it's a brand new environment out here for him. As well as say, everyone's got it better. There's Kazuya's and, you know, Aegis players now. It's a completely different world we're living in. He used to rule, you know, a South Bend that was topped by, like, bottom and mid-tiers. Now he's fighting Pac-Man, who, in my opinion, is basically socially acceptable, Steve. Socially acceptable? Well, yeah, that's fair. People, I've never heard someone say ban Pac-Man. I will oh. say... <laughs> <laughs> Pac-Man and Luigi are just, you know, Steve and Kazuya at home. You know what I mean? We have Steve Basically, and Kazuya yeah. at home. The Steve and Kazuya at home is just Luigi and Pac-Man. Yep. These are the ones that people dealt with as long as you didn't buy the DLC. Very true. But here's the thing. Most people would actually hate Pac-Man. Well, like, they love him until they get hit by Bell. Yeah. Nah. I, uh, I'm not oh. a fan, personally. As someone who's been on the receiving end of Pac-Man at this point many times... I can't say I exactly enjoy the matchup. Oops. Oh, there goes through Galaxia to hit the master there. There we Team go. Four finding the up air. Okay, goes for the Trixies. Can't oh. catch it. It's my favorite thing in this game. You get oh, he Melon up throw is insane. But that's my as I was saying, that's my favorite thing in this game. You get all these projectiles. You know, Pac-Man, Melon, things like K. Rule, uh, K. Rule Blunderbuss. Mm -hmm. You get these projectiles that come at you so slowly, you almost forget they're there. Uh, yeah. And then you just you throw out just the worst approach and end up getting hit in the face for it. Mm -hmm. all, while, all while you have the uh, actual player themselves just waiting behind it. Yeah, I mean, it's like a fireball. Yeah. You know what I mean? They right? can choose to... Yeah. It's just covering screen space. And you're like, all right. You would. Oh, Keeksta says ban Pac-Man. Shout out, Keeksta. Oh, yeah. We don't talk about Pac-Man. That's who I was kind of referring to, like, basically about hating <laughs> Pac-Man. He loves to hate Pac-Man. You're my goat, Keeks. We got to see you out here sometime. Well, he's going to transition over. Well, he's already transitioned over to the Strive. Yeah. I mean. I'm joining him. I'm not. Like, you play a better game. I'm not going to lie to you. But this one's all right. <laughs> Team 4 really, really holding on to the stock right now. Sitting at a clean 194%. Really Ooh, just not you. letting Lev make contact. Is about to he's throwing all these backers out. They're not, they're hidden. Oh, even the apple. He's got he the space with it. Well, then they ain't gonna kill. Sure, I am watching the stream instead. Yeah, we love you in the crowd anyway, though. Yep. It's good to have you here in whatever form. <gasps> See, oh, it's that thing I was telling you about. Did you know that not many people know that 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 can actually go through the stage like that? I did not know that. I will say, Leb is, of course, a very setup oriented Pac-Man, and, you know, we might not see that in full force just because of the extent of, you know, the pressure that TM4 is able to put on, but mm -hmm. the more you see this guy on stream, the more you realize he's got some wacky stuff. That, oh! There you go. Exactly like that. Oh, my God. TM4, though, still retaining, obviously, a dominant lead, almost a full stock ahead. Yep, he's going, I was about to say, Lev's really going to have yep. to pull something out. Oh, Pac-Man kind of heavy. It's the shoes, St I bet you. Staying alive, Ness with absolutely zero rage, of course. Oh, oh he's a ball. He was the perfect ball shape to avoid the yo-yo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, finding the Nair, also not going to do it. Like I tell you, it's gonna, in the shoes. Going to go for that up air. I've seen the VODs. <laughs> we know what's coming. But does it matter? Is he just that... He's, he's eminent. He's coming. You can't he's stop. there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but if you're lab, apparently you can stop him with that fruit. Oh, my God. That was a hell of a play. Yeah. Oh. From America's most controversial Pac-Man. No, surely. <laughs> no, surely. he may not be America's, but he'll be SB's most controversial. SB's most controversial Pac-Man. 
Charging up the fruit. Oh, okay, okay. The equivalent of Steve Mining, folks. It's the same. Bell, Just, basically a diamond. Yep. Just stay woke out here, folks. Stay oh, okay. woke. Don't let the media convince you that Pac-Man's all right. Yes. And look, Fire Hydrant, it's like Steve Wall and Anvil all in one move. Mm hmm What are you going to do about it? And it sets up for itself? Look at that. Ridiculous. I actually missed that. Have a gala drop a Galaxia on top of that since it's two hits. Yeah. Breaks it, and you got back. You got support. It's slowly coming towards you. Yeah, these melons are just surprisingly threatening from, uh, from Lev. I'm so used to him throwing them up just as a, a long-lasting hitbox, but he's doing mm -hmm. wonders with them right now, just, uh, you know, controlling stage. Yeah, like what that fireball, there? like you're saying. Oh, yeah, that little... Was that just the hitbox interacting with the fruit? Yeah, huh. like from the, um, what's yeah, it, the magnet? The yep. It's, it's weird not... to, it was weird to see it that way. Also. Yeah, it's not, it's definitely probably an unusual interaction, but if you're TM4, I guess you've seen them all. Mm -hmm. He's gonna have to see himself get back into this lead here. Uh, well, I get back into this game because he used to have a good lead, but now it's Let's Show now. Nah, he'll like PK fire him one time or something. I, I have faith. Oh, or, he'll, or he'll do the, the TM4 thing where he just stays at ledge and shoots the thunders. No, the actual TM4 thing is to be down, but then, like you said, just hit PK fire and then he wins. Yeah. Something, something, magnet, something, something, you're dead. Yep. Something that Vantage State is just too fucking broken. Ah, uh, he's got the key! Patience. Oh. That's right. He's Camp out the little boy. Tell him to that, stay home and all that. He's got that top player patience. He's not going to overshoot or, you know, he's not going to overcommit anywhere. He's just like, whatever, charge your fruit. You still got to hit me. Yeah. I still got to hit you, and I think you're going to fuck up before I am. And please do, so that way uh, we can get this time out. Second. Getting caught by the bell, but I Leb unable this. to convert into a stock. I need this time. Ooh, getting the forward air. 30 seconds on the clock. Kill him. Oh, and if you're TM4, you gotta worry about that. I'm gonna try to not say this that is, too loud because I don't want to influence the game. Yeah, but Leb, no, oh he's still God. living. If I'm Leb, I think I'm just taking him to time clock. at this point. Oh my God! Yeah, there you go. yeah he's, yeah, he's yeah, gonna yeah, take yeah, him to time, yeah. which means we're gonna we might actually see some aggression coming out Here from we TM4. Go. What are we gonna see? Oh, he doesn't Five, have it. Oh. Four, <laughs> three, <laughs> no! Dang it, Leb! I wanted that timeout. I wanted to time out! They're, in South Bend, they're impossible. That proves it. Not possible. No, it's going to be possible. Because you know why? We're going to actually send this bot to someone who's going to complain about timeouts. And what will tell us that the solution is, obviously... Ban Pac-Man. No. <laughs> the solution is... Be more aggressive than Pac-Man. No, the solution actually is... Change the timer. Yeah, I mean, I feel that. I've, like... Someone someone explained it in the perspective of Street Fighter where it's just like, you know, it's 99 seconds around, like, whatever. If the time that happens, it happens. You don't worry about it. Yeah. Like, I can see, like, you know, a six or a five-minute timer being okay for this game. Yeah, that's my actual thing. Like, my actual opinion is that I'm I'm full on for a five-minute timer, but I know no one will actually go for it. So it's like, so I'll settle for six. It's kind of hard, though, in this game just because there aren't that many characters who are really going to go for the timeout. Yeah, exactly. It's like... You know, in Melee, you have, like, 12 viable characters, and, like, some of them are just going to camp you. Yeah. Like, sure, that makes sense. Like, that's your win condition. But, like, mm -hmm. Pac-Man can do so much without, you know, trying to go for the timeout. Exactly. And so, TOs will love you for doing it, obviously. The rest of your competitors will love you because, like, also they get to leave uh, to go back home earlier. Very true. So, yeah, I'm all for it. But this is... Surprisingly, this is not the matchup that I thought I would have been seeing um, Simon maybe a little struggle with. Because, like, I usually, but again, this is back when, like, you know, when he was playing a lot more, but this wasn't, like, uh, his matchup that he had a too much difficulty with. But yeah. Lev's, Lev's changed some things up since he got, um, <laughs> since that lead that Simon had the first game, and now it's... Well, I will say, I think, based on what, I'm, what I've heard, Lev has experimented a little bit more recently with his own mess. So he might just have a better understanding of the character. Oh, okay. Krieger, we want the Sora too. Don't no, get me wrong. no, 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 no. Here's the thing. Well, if you're time, no, go ahead. I was just gonna say, if you're playing Sora Pac-Man, you're basically guaranteed going to time. Because as someone who has been, you know, in the midst of that matchup, like, you don't really get to do Sora stuff to Pac-Man besides yeah. spell cycling. Mm -hmm. My so. daughter. There's no Sora. Simon said that he There is will, no Sora. He said there will be no Sora if he came back 
he said it in the chat last week. He's I'm relinquishing sure. the character to me. I see how it is. Yep. He saw that you got into that video for PG stats. He said, like, I can't believe Florida all the work that I put in, and I can't be get into one of these videos. But Indigo so, goes in 2 0s. <laughs> Hbox. 2 1. It was game three. Two, did you play Sora in this set, actually? I played Sora in the first set. I played Hbox twice at Riptide. Oh, yeah, that's right, because you played him in Losers. I lost him in Losers because I was playing Greninja. Oh, okay. And I, that still went to game three, for the record, because I think Greninja did just generically well against floaties. Yeah. And I was right. He just happened to adapt. Oh. I think evidently he has a little more experience against that. Even game the weak time. spot, Blinky? The weak spot bleak. Oh, yeah, I gotta let chat know this. They're probably just wondering, it's like, what's going on? Lev is kind of going off right now. Yeah, he is. I'm not gonna lie. This like, is about I'm, the this is about to change up the chat. Did you know this is actually 1 0 for Lev? They just like <laughs> PS2. Yeah. It's still a possibility for Cyber to come back from it, though. It definitely is. I mean, it's hard. Lev just demonstrating that he's incredibly patient as well. Yes, and that's the thing. Lev hates patience. But he said he'll do whatever it takes. I think he's getting better at it, from what I understand. Yeah, he he definitely is. From the times I've played him, like, in some friendlies, too. For, like, because it's been a while since i played him. He's definitely better about his patient play. Because um, it used to be kind of like the pack where, like, okay, I'm going to charge up this item, and I'm just going to run in, I'm going to find an opportunity to just throw it at you. Right. Now he's a lot more, like you said, set play. Oh, okay. We are at last stock here. Mm-hmm. With a good conversion, TM4 can definitely bring us back. But, oh, but it's getting harder. Face with an apple. Yeah, it's, it's getting harder and harder, so. We're going to see what happens here. Could we see the return of the king going into. Uh... Oh. oh. This is just what we said. This is he scary hits. If you're oh. <laughs> and that's just it. That is it, folks. That is going to be a 2-0 for uh, the good old lip. So let's see. Good lab for a 2-0. All right. And then on the other side of Sebi's. I think it's Malice West. Uh, no, Sunny West. Sunny West. That's right. Yeah. Another SB classic. All righty. So where is... So yep, Wes saw that. So he's good. Sunny is... Bruh. Get the yeah, fuck out of here. You think yeah. we're not gonna stream Wes? Ah. Up next, folks, one. it sounds like we have we have our, our very own permafrost Coco and yes. Michiana Tio and Seeding Extraordinaire <laughs> Malice. Part of the SB 